the Northern California to see this thing happening is great. Um, I'm actually living in Hawaii where Blue Planet is located, so I'd like uh, everybody to repeat after me, Aloha! Aloha! Aloha. Alright, way to go! So, uh, when I first met Alexi in 1989, it was February of 1989, two things happened. Um, one, I licensed the Game Boy Rights and Tetris, and I came back and licensed the Nintendo. Uh, and the other thing is I learned how to drink vodka. <laughs> Uh, it was very cold. I had no idea how cold it was going to be. And uh, <clears throat> so I would go to his place and we would uh, drink very strong liquor and we would talk about game design. But one of his requests to me at the time was, uh, he said, said to me, Hank, you know, you're going to go back and you're going to make this game. And uh, I really want to find out uh, who is the best player in the world. And, uh, you know, we really haven't found out in all these years. So, I'm looking forward to finding out who's the best player in the world today. Right here, out of, uh, out of eight contestants. <clears throat> so, a little bit about the, uh, the, the concept of, um, of, the, of the Tetris Cup. Um, I believe that Tetris may well be the first virtual sport. You know, we watch uh, on television, we watch ESPN, we watch people boxing or playing football or all these kind of things that require uh, physical prowess. But you know what, in today's world, physical prowess isn't what gets us there. You know, what we're, we're not looking at lifetimes of physical labor. We're, we're, we're looking at lifetimes where we pit our minds against the minds of people that are in businesses in other countries or our own country, but it's a mental thing. So if I was going to, if I was going to practice uh, to be the smartest or the fastest thinker in the world, would I play football? I don't think so. I would play Tetris. <laughs> And so, so I think that uh, a competition, a mental competition, that includes not only figuring out, thinking about what to do next, but actually having the hand-eye coordination to actually make that happen, I think that is real prowess. And we will recognize, uh, going forward, we'll recognize the greatest players in the world, and we should have, this is the first of a yearly, hopefully, a yearly competition. We'll keep on finding out who is the should I say Tiger Woods? He's a bad name right now. <laughs> Tiger Woods of Tetris. And maybe we'll find out who he is tonight. Who knows? <laughs> oh, she, oh, she. Oh, 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 oh. All right. See, they didn't brief me. They didn't tell me that there were she in the, in the names. And it's not very obvious. I, uh, Dana. All right. Jesse? I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not originally from this country. I don't recognize boys' names from girls' names. <laughs> so, um, but a vision for Tetris. Um, I'd like to mention that, uh, you know, Tetris is as popular now as it's ever been. In fact, it's more popular right now than it's ever been. And it's hard to tell because um, it's most popular on mobile phones today. And, uh, you know, mobile phones don't have a real strong game community like consoles do or did. And so, even though we passed a hundred million downloads on mobile phones um, earlier this year, it wasn't like, like Game Boy, which only sold, only, I should say only, maybe 40 million copies. <laughs> but Game Boy put, actually put uh, Tetris on the map and I think uh, NES Tetris was uh, one of the great games of all time on the NES. It's the reason to still own an NES today. And so without further ado, I would like to uh, pass it on to whoever's supposed to be getting the microphone next. <laughs> Thank you, Hank, for almost remembering my name.
Um, and yes, I agree about Tetris becoming a sport. In fact, my new exercise video, Sweat into Tetris, will be available in stores this fall. All right. So why are we here? This is why. Any music, Maestro? Dum -dum 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 -dum. We have gathered the greatest Tetris players from North America here today to, in order to determine once and for all who is the greatest Tetris player. Come on, that's exciting. Yeah. Before we begin, I want to thank a couple of people. The DJ Sisop right there in the corner. He'll be spinning tunes all night. I also want to thank GirlGamer.com for live streaming this event over the interwebs. Over there somewhere. And officiating our event from Twin Galaxies, Mr. Kelly R. Fluid. Where are you? Yeah. Kelly? Yeah, I heard him. All right. People aren't excited about as officiating as I am. All right. It is now time for our semifinals. Eight players will compete in three rounds. I will introduce first the three people that came here off the street. And qualified, they are really, you know, the street walkers of the Tetris world. Wait a minute. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. All right. First up, from Echo Park, California, a former Nintendo World Championship player, Trey Harrison. Come on down. Or don't come down. Oh, here he is. Over here. I can't see anything. I'm blind. Okay, you, you can take your time, don't worry about it. Next up, from New York, he flew here from New York, he didn't walk. He came here hungry, hungry for some Tetris action. And he qualified, Matt Bucco! Okay, and up third, from nearby Oakland, California. One of the top Tetris players currently, and a fan favorite, looks like, Dana Wilcox! <laughs> okay, guys, all right. There's a, there's a banner in the crowd, I don't know if you can see it. Show them your Tetris, Dana. Oh, I get it. Oh. Kick some tritominoes, tre Dana. Very nice. There's the lovely Dana. Dana. All right. So those three people came off the streets today. Not, not like hobos, but they came off the street. <laughs> and uh, they qualified. They'll be facing some tough competition. Some legendary premier Tetris players. You guys scared yet? OK, they're not you're paying attention to me. All right. First. From Los Angeles, he is the first player to officially max out the score in NES Tetris, Harry Hahn! <laughs> you guys should come down here. <laughs> Next up. All right, yeah, you see how long it takes, guys? Come down further before I call you. Yes, down the deep end. Thanks, Chris. That's a good one. <laughs> Next up, from Los Angeles as well, she is currently the second place record holder for the number of lines achieved in a Tetris game. Please welcome Jesse Kelkar. Top Tetris. 
Tetris player, and a legend in the video gaming world. He was the winner of the 1990 Nintendo World Championships competition. Please welcome Thor Ackerlund. Let's see if we're ready to start. 